Sinn Féin believes that this bill presents an important opportunity to eliminate inflated expenditure on unnecessary incarceration by ensuring that the courts are obliged to consider the imposition of a community service order instead in certain circumstances. It is clear that just locking more and more people up in prison cells does nothing to reduce crime. We have to look at what works and ensure that justice policy is tied towards addressing the key casual factors of crime, poverty, embedded disadvantage, entrenched inequality, lack of education and, in many cases, home life. From a financial perspective, this bill makes sense. The average cost of keeping an individual prisoner in custody for a year is just under 100,000 compares to an estimated cost of 4,295 for a community service order. These are stark figures. There is a high proportion of prisoners serving short prison sentences for offences that do not suggest they are a threat to society. So clearly there are questions to be asked about the cost and the overuse of custody in the Irish criminal system and criminalising people more and more is just unfair. Reducing expenditure on unnecessary incarceration is more economically effective as well as more socially effective. When done properly, a CSO can prevent further re-offending by reintegrating the offender into the community through successful completion of positive and demanding unpaid work. The offender can give back to the community by doing something socially useful. We support the use of CSOs where appropriate, but they should not replace lower tariff sanctions and should remain as one of a diverse range of choices in alternatives to custody. Judges should be required to consider their appropriateness against the custodial sentence. In the interest of fairness, there must be guidelines introduced around the use of CSOs and an equivalency scale of hours of community service relative to the time in custody or maybe fines imposed should also be established and also maybe education programmes could be part of this. Sinn Féin strongly supports the introduction of CSOs as an alternative to the custody for fine defaulters, as we believe that the use of custody for fine default is inappropriate, ineffective, excessive, excessively resource intensive, and that it should end. Fine levels currently do not take into account the equality of impact. They make only a ne negligible impact on high income offenders. And it reminds me of um, a couple of years ago, we had a young girl from a working class area in Finglas who spent two days in jail for, uh, for a fine as a result of a, uh, not having a dog licence. To me, that was an absolute, absolutely scandalous. And I believe that the judges in this case and the, the authorities in this case really lost the run of themselves. However, we would like to take this opportunity to talk about the importance for the government to address the causes of crime in the first place. The bill is to be welcomed but it should really be a part of an overall strategy to get at the root causes of crime and address the glaring cracks in our system. In Dublin North West, there's a big addiction problem. We welcome the government commitment to support the principles in the national addiction strategy, particularly the commitment to expand rehabilitation services at local level. Although we would urge the government to fund these services, according to need, rather than leaving them at the mercy of restricted budgets. The government needs to restore confidence in the Gardaí. The community needs to feel that they can report crime. And I, I think incidents like what happened at Rossport is not, um, certainly not going to instill confidence in the Gardaí. And I, I often wonder, people who are looking at this, women who have reported crimes like this, um, in terms of sexual assault or otherwise, um, particularly in that area, the effects it would have on those. 
How, how many other women have reported these and, and are now thinking, are, are guards you know, joking about it or otherwise? And I think that needs to be addressed. We certainly don't want the, the confidence in the guards to go down. There needs to be a connect between the police services and the community that they are serving. And I often feel that because guards don't live in the communities, and particularly in working class areas, we have a situation where a guard who joins the police force ends up moving out of a lot of working class areas. And we also have a situation where judges no, don't come from working class areas, they tend to come from the more middle and upper class areas. And anyone that does tends to move out of working class areas. I think this message has to be reversed at some stage. Society is all the poorer for this message that you, you, ca you can't effectively live in working class areas um, be because, oh, we want to be up there with the big boys in, in Dublin 4 or other places like that. I think this is. Unfortunately, this is the way this society has gone, and it is not good for our society. I'm also aware that we must keep up our community projects, and I think this government must ensure that the drugs task forces are properly funded, the community projects are properly funded, because we've seen over the last while the effects that this has had, in, in particularly in very strong working class areas, where the the cutbacks are now having massive effects, and we have a lot of programs out there for, for young people. Many of them are very, very vulnerable, and the more cutbacks that happen there, the more we're going to have to be dealing with them in the prison system. So I think it's very important that, that this government um, keeps up the investments in these projects, because any cutbacks in this is, is going to be a disaster for a community. The alcohol and drug strategy, I think that paper was presented by um, in the past, and I think that needs to be followed up on and enshrined in some way to, 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 to because I think the, the work that's gone into that from the drugs task forces across the whole city and across the country has been huge. So hopefully um, the government will look at that, and I thank you. Thank you. Um, I know call on